The book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, lays the foundation for our understanding of the world and our place in it. It begins with a breathtaking account of creation, a story that has captivated humanity for millennia. In this grand narrative, we witness the awesome power of God as he speaks the universe into existence. Genesis, meaning beginning or origin, sets the stage for the entire biblical narrative. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. These iconic words introduce us to a world shrouded in darkness, formless and void. Imagine a vast expanse, an endless abyss where nothingness reigns supreme. The earth, in its initial state, is a desolate and empty place, devoid of life and light. The heavens too are silent and still, waiting for the touch of the divine to bring them to life. But God, the ultimate creative force, breaks through this void with a powerful declaration. Let there be light. This command is not just a simple utterance, it is a profound statement of intent and purpose. With these words, God initiates the process of creation, setting into motion a series of events that will transform the cosmos. And with these words, light floods the universe, dispelling the darkness and marking the first act of creation. The light is not just a physical phenomenon, it is a symbol of knowledge, clarity and understanding. It represents the beginning of order and structure in a previously chaotic and disordered world. The light brings warmth and energy, making it possible for life to eventually flourish. This initial separation of light and darkness signifies the establishment of order from chaos, a theme that will resonate throughout the creation story. The division of light from darkness is the first step in a grand design, a blueprint for the universe that will unfold in the days to come. It is a reminder that even in the darkest times, light can emerge, bringing hope and new beginnings. This act of creation is a testament to the power of divine will and the potential for transformation and renewal in the world. On the second day, God turns his attention to the formless expanse of water that covers the earth. He sets a boundary, a vast expanse or firmament to separate the waters. This division creates a space for the sky above and the waters below. The text describes this division as good, emphasizing God's intentionality and the inherent goodness of his creation. This act further establishes order and structure within the newly formed world. The third day witnesses a remarkable transformation. God commands the waters below to gather, revealing dry land. The earth, no longer submerged, bursts forth with vibrant life. Plants in all their diversity begin to carpet the land. Trees bearing fruit and seed rise from the ground, their roots anchoring them to the newly formed soil. The creation of plant life marks a significant milestone in the narrative, introducing the concept of life cycles and the interconnectedness of the natural world. On the fourth day, the divine plan for the cosmos continued to unfold with meticulous precision and grandeur. God sets his sights on the heavens. He creates the sun, a brilliant star to govern the day and provide warmth to the earth. This radiant orb not only bathes the world in light but also sustains life, nurturing plants and providing energy for all living beings. The sun's journey across the sky marks the passage of time, heralding the dawn of each new day and the promise of new beginnings. He then fashions the moon, a celestial orb, to illuminate the night and mark the passage of time. The moon, with its gentle glow, offers a serene counterpoint to the sun's brilliance. It waxes and wanes, guiding the rhythms of the tides and the cycles of life. The moon's phases, from the new moon to the full moon, create a natural calendar that has been observed and revered by countless cultures throughout history. Finally, he scatters countless stars across the vast expanse of space, transforming the night sky into a breathtaking spectacle of light. These celestial bodies serve not only as sources of light but also as markers of time and seasons, further establishing order and rhythm within creation. The stars with their twinkling brilliance have inspired wonder and curiosity since the dawn of humanity. They form constellations, telling stories and guiding travelers across the seas and deserts. The Milky Way, a luminous band of stars, stretches across the sky, a reminder of the vastness and beauty of the universe. Each star, a distant sun, holds the potential for worlds unknown, sparking the imagination and fueling the quest for knowledge. The heavens, with their intricate dance of celestial bodies, reflect the harmony and balance of the divine design, a testament to the Creator's wisdom and power. 
Day 5 ushers in a new wave of life this time inhabiting the waters and the skies. God commands the waters to teem with an abundance of creatures from the smallest fish to the largest sea monsters. The air too comes alive with the sound of wings as birds of all shapes and sizes take flight. This explosion of life in the sea and sky demonstrates God's boundless creativity and his care for all living things. The sixth day marks the pinnacle of God's creative work. He populates the land with a stunning variety of animals, each uniquely designed for its environment. Creatures of all shapes and sizes from cattle to creeping things fill the earth. And then, in a moment of profound significance, God creates humankind. Section 8. The Crown of Creation, Mankind. Unlike the animals, created according to their kind, humans are formed in the very image of God. This special creation reflects God's own nature, endowing humanity with intellect, creativity, and a capacity for relationship unlike any other creature. This divine image sets humans apart as stewards of creation, entrusted with the responsibility to care for the world God has made. Section 9. The Sabbath, a day of rest and reflection. On the seventh day God completes his work of creation and rests. He blesses the seventh day designating it as a day of rest, a holy day set apart. This day, known as the Sabbath, serves as a reminder of God's creative power and the importance of rest and reflection. It offers an opportunity to cease from our labors, to appreciate the goodness of God's creation, and to nurture our relationship with Him. Section 10. The Importance of Genesis Today the creation account in Genesis is not merely an ancient story, it holds profound significance for us today. It reminds us that we are part of something much larger than ourselves, created by a loving God who cares for his creation. It teaches us about our place in the world, our responsibility to care for the environment, and the importance of rest in relationship with our Creator. Section 11. The Promise of a New Creation. Genesis, while recounting the beginning, also points towards a future hope. It tells the story of how the world was formed, how life began, and how everything was intricately designed by the hand of God. But it doesn't stop there. It also hints at a future where the imperfections and brokenness of our current world will be mended. Just as God created the world out of nothing, He promises a new creation, a restoration of all things. This new creation is not just a return to the original state, but an elevation to something even more glorious. It is a promise that speaks to the core of our existence, offering a vision of a world where pain, suffering, and death are no more. This promise offers hope and anticipation for a time when the brokenness of the world will be healed and God's original design for creation will be fully realized. Imagine a world where harmony reigns, where every creature lives in peace, and where the beauty of creation is fully restored. This vision is not just a distant dream, but a tangible promise that we can hold on to. This future hope is a beacon of light, guiding us towards a future filled with promise and the assurance of God's unending love. It is a light that pierces through the darkness of our current struggles, reminding us that there is something greater ahead. This hope is not just for the distant future but impacts our present, giving us strength and courage to face each day with faith and trust in God's plan. As we look forward to this new creation, we are called to live in a way that reflects this hope, to be stewards of the earth and to care for one another, knowing that our actions today are part of the unfolding story of God's redemption and restoration. <laughs>